Hello, good day. Subhash from Self Sufficient Dream. Hope you're doing well. Summer is already here in Australia. Two things to consider if you want to be smart. Number one, solar in your roof. Number two, tomatoes in your garden. Tomatoes comes with incredible health benefits. Vitamin C, vitamin K, potassium, folate. It reduces heart disease, it avoids cancer, it avoids blood clots which causes stroke and heart attacks and it's, it's very good for pregnant women. And an average size of medium tomato can serve 20 to 25 percentage of vitamin C which is required in your daily intake. Which means four tomatoes is more than enough to run your day with fantastic vitamin C. Apart from that, it's antioxidant. What else, right? And apart from these medical benefits, tomatoes are incredible in kitchen. Typically like Indian cuisine, Italian cuisine cannot really survive without tomatoes. Tomatoes are delicious, can be eaten in raw and it increases the health benefits when it's even cooked. How good is that? And in today's video, I'm going to take you through how to set up a huge garden bed having tomatoes planted on it. And on top of it, we are going to have a bit of tomato planting support and also this beautiful marigold flowers. This is going to be a fantastic companion for tomatoes to having it away from diseases. Very important. How to do? Let's get into it. Right, so as the base layer of the garden bed, see if we can reuse some of your organic materials like old cartons, like cardboard materials, which doesn't contain any chemicals or plastic materials in it, as long as it's sort of a natural product, came out of a wood or sort of papers, it's okay to put it in the garden bed. It is going to be efficient in terms of the soil quantity because soil quantity, you have to purchase the soil um, unless you have like super nutritious soil in your garden. So this layer of cartons in your garden bed is going to become a soil eventually. And also it's going to add good drainage into your soil which is going to be very good for your plants. It might sound silly, but you cannot do this job without a wheelbarrow and a shovel. So please make sure you have one before you start the job. Alrighty, so having added some of the three branches which is going to be a natural compost at some point and also good for drainage and top of this have sugarcane mulches added and chicken compost added from our backyard poultry. 
This is going to be a fantastic combo. Last and very final step, make sure after filling the garden bed and planting the plants, make sure the garden bed is wet enough for the roots to establish well, at least for the first couple of weeks. That's pretty much. Oh, <laughs> 